Hey crochet lovers! Today I'm going to show you how to make the simple stitch of Tunisian crochet. First of all, I want to show you the needles that are used on Tunisian crochet. These needles are larger because on Tunisian crochet the project will grow from our hook, from our needle. So you can still use the usual hook that we use on crochet if the width of your project is not that long. For example, you can use it for gloves or for a thin scarf or for a baby dress, something not that big. But if you want to make something larger like a vest or a cushion, you will need the larger hook, the larger needle. So let's start! We will start doing a slip knot, so we place the longest part of the yarn over the tip of the yarn and then we insert this longest part like this, creating a slip knot. I insert my hook here and then we will do as many chains as we have to to achieve the width of our project. Remember this width can't exceed the length of our hook. If we want to make a bigger project we will need the Tunisian needle, the longer needle I just showed you before. For this sample I will chain 10 I have 10 chains here, this is the width of my project Now I will do one extra chain and on the third chain from the hook This is the third chain from the hook Here I insert my hook yarn over and I pull through. Now I have two loops on my hook. I don't do anything, I leave those loops right there. And then I go through the next chain, yarn over. I have now three loops, I don't do anything. And I continue doing this on every chain available, creating a loop per chain. This is my last chain my last loop created and at the end I have to have the same loops as chains so I have to have 10 loops 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 loops, perfect! Now I will start going back so I go through the first loop, only one loop And then I will go through two loops, working in pairs. So this is the first pair, now a second pair of loops. And I continue working like this until I reach the other end. This is my last pair of loops and now I have my first row of Tunisian crochet. For the second row I will identify every loop of the previous row. Here are those loops and here I will create more loops. So for the first one I don't do anything because I have the loop already here, so I go to the next loop right here, I insert my hook here, yarn over, I pull through and now I have two loops. And I continue doing this on every loop available 
creating new loops for my second row. When you reach the end, you have to be careful because you can miss the last loop. So you have to identify the loops clearly and work all of them. Okay, I have all my loops, 10 loops here. And now I will start going back. So first I go through one loop, only one, and then I start working in pairs of loops. So this is my first pair, second pair, third pair, and so on, until I reach the other end. Perfect, now we have two rows of Tunisian crochet. The simple stitch of Tunisian crochet. And we keep doing this, repeating the same instructions as for second row until we reach the length that we want for our project. So this would be all crochet lovers, I hope you've liked this tutorial, I think this stitch is beautiful, it's very easy once you get used to it, and everything you do with this stitch will certainly look great. So I'll see you next time, don't forget to subscribe, bye!